Hello and welcome back to our course on live streaming and video production graphics here with Stream Geeks. I am excited because we're going to be looking at the Stream Deck and we're going to use this to set up controls to fire off our live streams and graphics using New Blue Titler Live 5. So let's jump into it. Hey everybody, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I just wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us out and encourages us to keep making video courses like this. So hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. Thanks. So I've got the Stream Deck plugged into my computer via USB. And now we're gonna use the Stream Deck to key in our live graphics for video production. It's a really powerful combination to streamline your process no matter what type of video production you are creating. We understand that you have many hats to wear as a video producer, and you might wanna even run various programs simultaneously to get your productions off the ground. So with this combination, uh, it really lightens your load and it lets you get the most out of your system. So before we begin, you do need to download the Titler Live plugin from the Stream Deck store. So by clicking that little button there, uh, it gets us to the Stream Deck store, and we are going to search for Titler Live. So we've been using Titler Live in the last two videos. It's a great dedicated graphics plugin, and we're going to go ahead and install it. So once we've installed the plugin, the installation is complete. You'll be prompted to select a pre-configured profile. And let's go ahead and click install that. And we're set. 17,000 people have downloaded that in the past. So now the profile is now automatically open. And once that happens, one of the things you'll notice is that some of the buttons are gonna start to display on your stream deck so that's good it means we're making progress here once the installation is complete we're going to have the profile then automatically show you a window with 15 buttons now it depends on the stream deck that you have but we've got 15 buttons and if you're not familiar or if you aren't on this titler live profile you can double check by clicking the drop down tab in the left hand corner of the window okay so you can see here these are the different profiles. We've got a default profile with nothing in it, then we've got our Tyler Live profile. So you can use a Tidal Live profile, which is basically gonna make every single button for titles. What you might wanna do is use your existing profile and maybe make a second page or drag and drop these little play layers exactly where you want them on your button panel. And you'll notice that as I drag these little buttons on there, they're added to the Stream Deck, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and create a layer of animations that we can use to control the Stream Deck. And again, we, I kind of had to scroll all the way to the bottom on the right-hand side here, and we're just basically picking play layers. And we can actually add, the, add a title so we'll do lower third on one, we'll do full screen on two, and then maybe excuse me, graphic on three. And what we need to do is just simply coordinate these with the graphics that we have. So let's go back into new blue effects here. And we'll have a main graphic. And then let's have a lower third down here. So I've got a main graphic. I've got a secondary main. And then I have the dots here for a lower third with the logo. And then I've got a fourth one here for a more simple lower third. So when I go back in here, I can associate these with the graphics that we have. So there's one for the Labor Day sale. Here's another one for the main screen and then another one for the graphics. And then we'll do that final one there. This is pop out. And basically now I have this all on my stream deck. You can see how these are set up here. And by clicking that button, 
I can schedule these to play. So one click brings it in, and then the second click brings it out. And you'll notice that on the Stream Deck, this is really nice, we, ha we have st statuses for these. So if it is red, it's in, and if we hit it again, it will actually clear and go away um, and let you know when it's green, it's in preview. So that's pretty nice. Green is in preview, right? Red means it's playing. There we go. Boom. And it's gone to output. Pretty nice there. Now you have, with the simple touch of a button, you can trigger any corresponding gra graphic to go live. And if you know much about the Stream Deck, you know that it can also control many different live streaming and video production software like OBS, like Vmix, like Wirecast. So this allows you to quickly and easily control Title or Live 5 and your favorite video production software. So stream decks are really awesome. That's just a quick look at how you can use Title or Live 5 to control your production and your graphics with the stream deck.